slideshow begins with a symbol of Japanese culture, the cherry blossom. This flower signifies the beauty and impermanence of life, but was also used as a symbol of imperial Japanese militarism during World War II. I offer this presentation in honor of the victims of atomic bombings, the hibakusha. This is a compound word, he, which means to suffer, bahu, which means explosion, and sha, which means person. This statue portrays Sadaku Sasaki, a child hibakusha from Hiroshima. Suffering from leukemia as a result of her exposure to black rain fallout, she folded almost 1,000 origami cranes, hoping for long life. Sadako died two days before her 13th birthday in 1955. Origami cranes, such as you see in the picture, have become symbols of remembrance and peace. Hiroshima and Kyoto were the only major Japanese cities that had not been firebombed by the US and allied forces in World War II. While the people of Hiroshima prepared for firebombing, they hoped to escape this horror. As the Japanese proverb says, better than a banquet somewhere else is a good cup of tea and a bowl of rice at home. August 6, 1945. At 8.09 a.m. in a B-29 named Enola Gay, Pilot Tibbetts started the bomb run. His bombardier, Major Farabee, released the weapon from an altitude of 31,000 feet. The atom bomb Little Boy, containing over 100 pounds of uranium-235, detonated in the sky over Hiroshima. It exploded directly over Shima Surgical Clinic, the first ground zero. 70,000 to 80,000 persons, or perhaps more, were killed instantly in the blast and firestorm. Homes made from timber and paper turned into a sea of fire. Almost four square miles of the city was destroyed. The people died in agony. The atomic age had begun. City of 300,000, can we forget that silence? In that stillness, the powerful appeal of the white eye sockets of the wives and children who did not return home. That tore apart our hearts. Can it be forgotten? As has already been said, US generals made these statements after the atom bombs were dropped. They acknowledged in some cases almost immediately, that there was no military rationale. The photo to the left is a photo of that fateful explosion in the air above Hiroshima. August 9, 1945, the horrors of Hiroshima were quickly followed by the bombing of Nagasaki. A B-29 plane dropped Fat Man, a plutonium implosion bomb. Up to 80,000 persons were killed immediately. As in Hiroshima, many thousands died soon afterward of burns, radiation sickness, and hunger. The US atom bombing of the mostly civilian populations of Hiroshima and Nagasaki still stands as one of the most unethical uses of technology 
in human history for these reasons. While President Obama, during his visit to Hiroshima in 2016, gave his condolences for the suffering of the people, he never apologized. The United States government has never apologized to the Japanese people. Nuclear weapons have become symbols of political power and scientific slash technical prowess. As has been mentioned, there are currently nine nuclear nations, the United States, Russia, China, Britain, France, Israel, India, Pakistan, North Korea. 13,865 nuclear bombs exist worldwide. And again, as has been mentioned, the doomsday clock stands at 100 seconds to midnight. From before the bomb was tested, that is exploded at Trinity site in New Mexico or dropped on Hiroshima and then Nagasaki, scientists and intellectuals have protested its use and sought to control and then end nuclear weapons. These are some of the many examples of that. Mothers in the US organized to stop above ground nuclear testing in response to radioactive isotopes showing up in children's teeth. Popular resistance to nuclear weapons has been a decades long international struggle still ongoing. Nuclear abolition is the goal. The nuclear threat and costs continue. Nuclear weapons continue to threaten humanity. As the initiator of the atomic age and the only country to use these terrible weapons in war, the United States bears heavy responsibility for this continuing threat to human survival. In 2017, the international campaign to abolish nuclear weapons won the Nobel Peace Prize. I will read words from Setsuko Thurlow's Nobel lecture. Forever eradicate the threat of nuclear annihilation. When I was a 13 year old girl trapped in the smoldering rubble, I kept pushing, moving toward the light. I repeat those words that I heard called to me in the ruins of Hiroshima. Don't give up, keep pushing, see the light. Over 1 million people are living in Hiroshima now and 7 point billion of us on earth are only home. We deserve to live free from nuclear terror, never again. And in the words of the Japanese proverb, learn from yesterday, live for today, hope for tomorrow. Thank you.